Home Assistant 2021.10 is here with us. The headline feature is a two year integration, but there's much more. Let's start with Zero Wave. Zero JS integration now supports S2. S2 is a new security standard for Z Wave devices. It should be more secure, reliable, and give you a better battery life. If you want to take advantage of this feature, you need to repair your devices if you already pair them into Home Assistant. There's also a little new migration tool which makes it easier to migrate to the new Z Wave. Tuya, an IoT company, most famously known for their Smart Life app or the to your app. Previously you had two options, you had local control so you didn't need to rely on cloud or you had a cloud integration. Now that cloud integration is being replaced by this new version. The code for this integration has been completely rewritten by the guys of Tuya themselves so it's a completely new pack. So expect to have some glitches. Also you don't have all of the platforms covered. For example covers so like garages or blinds are not part of this release. In this release you have lights, switches, scenes, fans, and climber services. If you're running to your previously, you basically need to start from scratch. So this is not gonna be an easy swap. And if you have two your devices and you upgrade to this, you're gonna be immediately breaking those devices. So pay close attention to this allow some time to fix this and do it properly. If you wanna keep using local to you, then don't do anything because the new version is cloud only. One of my favorite parts of this release, the MDI, the material design icons have been updated to version six. This includes 400 new icons, 75 icons just made for Home Assistant. The downside of V6 is some of the icons have been renamed or removed. So you might have breaking icons in your dashboards. You have two Home Assistant releases to go and fix it and you're gonna see in the logs actually which ones are breaking. It is a pain, I don't really like it, but you're gonna have to do it. SwitchBot now should be a lot more easier to integrate in Home Assistant thanks to the new UI, which I will be trying soon with my new SwitchBot devices. Now click this next video to find out more about the recent Home Assistant releases.